it's Mad, along with Goo, and it is time for us to go with the, our Mary Bell uh, unit overview, what she does, what she's good at, and what she kind of lacks. So stay you liked the video um, now Mary Bell is a frizz user who has a nice whoosh skill as well uh, her leadership is okay increases frizz power by 10% I know I frailed on this but ever since Baramos got the 15% the 10% to me just feels underwhelming uh, she does have though her first skill Mary Bell fire which is range of four uh, does inflict nice spell damage from range. Uh, the only problem I have with it though is it's just one at four, so it can actually be kind of hard to line up after the first cast. Uh, but besides that, it's a decent uh, range skill, um, and it sounds really good. It's just if it was selectable within range four, I think that would be much stronger than uh, a range four skill especially with Maribel only having two movement. And we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, the second skill is Shushmore. Uh, MP consumption of 114 inflicts large swoosh damage on all enemies. Uh, honestly, a nice, very powerful whoosh skill. Nothing negative here. Uh, the MP consumption is a bit high, but if you level it up, you can get it down by about 20%. Uh, so it becomes uh, much, actually it's more than 20%, I'm sorry, it's around 30%. It'll be in the upper 70s, low 80s when you get it to level 10. So that MP consumption is not as big of an issue per se uh, when you do level it up. Uh, and it is a pretty powerful unit. Our spell, I should say. The only problem with it is, is she, uh, her like her leadership is a frizz power by 10%. So you're looking for someone who does a whoosh enhancement or a overall spell enhancement like White King. Uh, the last one is Firebird. Uh, this is a nice single target spell. The main reason is it gets rid of non-reflective spell damage, um, which... So what what it helps is with bosses and sorrow. Really only sorrow has the skill. But uh, the reflective properties really harm a lot of magic users on bosses. She can ignore that. That's very, very large. And generally when bosses have re, uh, like a reflect spell damage is, treat, uh, is used as uh, like a action to break that for like one turn to allow your spell damage to do a lot of damage she can completely ignore that and that is very powerful and in my mind even though she does have very good range at range four that poses a lot of problems this is very niche but when you can use it you should be abusing it like crazy uh and i think this is the one thing that maribel really really is strong with uh, her awakening skill, what, her first one doesn't give movement plus one, so she's stuck at two movement, but it does reduce MP, which once again, swoosh more, that is just, it's a necessity to get it down into, that will get you into the low 70s, and increase the power of all spells, uh, and it just allows her to become more useful all the way through, second swoosh fourth is Sam, and the third one's Firebird Purgatory Flame Power. No real surprises there. Uh, her stats, uh, this is level 110, not 120, but 110. Um, 816, er, 861 HP, 500 MP, 286 attack, 282 defense. Nothing very special there. The MP is a little low for how much her spells cost, but even at 500 MP, if you get the these two leveled down, you still have six or seven spells 
overall uh, to use. Um, her agility is 367. Her wisdom's 433. Those are some good stats for mages. Um, but as I say, the big issue is the movement to the weight 65. Uh, and I know in JP they have finally lowered the hero down to 60, but we're just going to leave it there for now. Honestly, you're not going to be really using her for arena anyways, uh, other than as a sorrow killer. But as of right now, there are so many other ways to counter sorrow that this is not the reason why to get her. Um, her preferred weapon is the Makaba Wand, which we are going to be getting in Dragon Quest Seven event gives for his power plus four percent which is very helpful and additional 22 wisdom um it's part of the tallest tower uh farm uh you'll be getting uh, a decent amount of those because uh i i forget which one's which uh on the tallest tower but uh the two main ones each of them are split between uh Ruff's weapon and Mary Ball's weapon, which does allow you to uh, have a pretty good shot at getting some good alchemy. Uh, speaking of alchemy, what you're going to really look for is either Purgatory Flame Power or Frizz Spell Power, and then Wisdom on the side. Uh, really, if uh, the Makaba Wand is a nice overall wand for a lot, if you want to just try and get Frizz Power only uh, and Wisdom, uh, if you do do get Maribel, though, then focus on Purgatory Flame Power. So the Makiba Wand is, can be useful because there's a few really powerful Frizz casters and that Frizz Power plus four. And if I remember correctly, if you get three really good Frizz Powers, that gets up to around 16 to 20%. Um, and 20% frizz spell power with a weapon just really enhances that damage. So I know I'm settling the Makiba Wand for Maribel, but in all honesty, if you don't have Maribel with the Makiba Wand, focus on that frizz spell power. That will actually turn into maybe not best in class for other units, but it'll be like the second best weapon overall. Our heroic skills, Maribel Fire. Um, this is just the massive, massive spell damage. She will melt units uh, with this. It's turn three. She has this one big nuke. I mean, it's a great skill, but you only have one shot at it. And that's its greatest weakness. Uh, it does have a very large range with a very large AoE. Um, platform but generally on turn three you don't have that many enemies left um if her main damage here firebird was a larger range that had a non-reflective spell damage and this was just a super powerful single target nuke we'd be talking differently on maribel overall but in all honesty not a huge fan but I mean, this skill is great. It's just, it sucks because it's four turns and it takes, and she can only cast it once. And by that time, you're kind of hopefully wrapping things up, or at least you've already taken down one or two of the enemies and you've only got one or two left. Uh, otherwise, you're probably taking too much damage to really use this uh, skill overall. So let's kind of go with the pros here. Her range of her skills is really impressive. And she does get an increased spell power by 10% set time each time attack spells casted, but it only lasts for one turn. So if she was able to stack just even a little bit more, all of a sudden she would turn into something more powerful. But they just really didn't give her something that she was super, super powerful for. That heroic skill, Purgatory Flame, is an incredibly powered skill, especially if you cast it a spell beforehand, giving that extra 10% power. That is by far, she is a one, really a two trick pony with one trick that's really, really awesome. The other trick you can use in niche, 
um, the ability to ignore uh, reflective damage with Firebird is really nice. But once again, getting later into the game, you're looking for units that are really strong in one area that can do it over and over again, or something that is so game-changing that you're going to need to go off into another if this person's down here. And Maribel just doesn't do either of those. She gets close, but she doesn't reach that level. Um, hero with two elements, not locked into one. This is really rare on a lot of heroes. Nera's the only other. But personally, I think Nera's a better unit than Maribel, head-to-head -head overall. Um, so... As I say, if Maribel and Nera were released at the same time, there'd be a good argument. But with Nera being released, wow, it's been over two months now. It's not so good. Uh, cons, due to the length of her skills and movement, she can have issues with enemies that move next to her. So she, with the only two movements, she can only use skills the three, and her four range skill is fairly worthless at that point. Especially if they're fast moving units, she can get overwhelmed. Her bonus can't be layered because it's only one turn. And as I say, for the overall time, it's just disappointing. And will I pull? The answer is no. I'm sorry, but for this, it, it's a disappointing for the current time in global. And right now in JP, she is very much down below. I was hoping her, once her bloom comes in, she'll probably become better. But there will be more times to uh, pull her in other events than that as well. So I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe. Um, also, I will be doing a rough video very soon as well. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy.